I'm Zoe Canela, reporting for Kids First, and today I'm reviewing Dune. I feel like this is the beginning to a great story, and I especially love at the end of the film when Zendaya's character says this is only the beginning, foreshadowing that there will hopefully be a sequel. I feel like Dune is truly an exceptional film directed by Denis Villeneuve, adapted from the original sci-fi novel published back in 1965 by Frank Herbert. Fans of the 1984 version, directed by David Lynch, and newcomers to Dune will be fascinated by Villeneuve's uh, incarnation. I absolutely love the cast, the cinematography, the CGI, and so many aspects of this film. The film takes place on an unfamiliar desert planet called Arrakis. The world of Arrakis is just breathtaking and I really fell in love with the culture that lies upon this very unique planet. I especially loved the languages the characters spoke in, the homes that they lived in, and of course the makeup and costume had a huge effect on the final aesthetic of the planet. The film centers a young man named Paul Atreides who has a very important role. His family is in charge of mining and taking care of the most precious and valuable elements on his world of Arrakis, which is spice. Now it's really easy to be mesmerized and captivated into this wonderful story and you as the audience truly feel like you were in this planet alongside with all the other characters. At times, I did feel like I was also missing parts of the story. Then again, this film is an adaptation, so obviously some information has to be left out. And I love the theater just wanting to know so much more about this wonderful planet. Now, I felt the beginning was a bit slow and most of the action portion of the film started to pick up towards the end. This didn't really bother me too much, but I kind of wish that the beginning was a little bit more to the point. Now let's talk about the acting in this great ensemble cast. In the lead role, we have Timothy Chamblay along with his peers, Zendaya, Rebecca Ferguson, Oscar Isaac, and Jason Momoa. Timothy Chamblay has been one of my favorite actors for such a long time now, and I honestly feel like this is one of his best performances to date. At the beginning of the film, you can really see how he is this strong yet vulnerable boy who eventually stands his ground and takes his place. Then Zendaya delivered a very nice performance, but I honestly wish we could have seen more of her. I mean, the entire film, I was just waiting to see her appearance. Then we have Jason Momoa, who was possibly one of my favorite characters. I love Jason and I felt like he did an excellent job. Lastly, Oscar Isaac and Rebecca Ferguson work really nicely together and I feel like they delivered a very appealing performance together. The costumes were so detailed and intricate, bringing out certain fascinating elements of this planet. And the cinematography done by Greg Fraser was so beautiful and goes in perfect sync with the production design. Next, it's extremely important to acknowledge Hans Zimmer, who did the score for all the music in this film, and it truly brings the sci-fi storytelling to life. The message of this film is that we all have a purpose, we should all find our own voice, destinies, and empathy is just as powerful as blood and lineage. I of course give Dune a 5 out of 5 stars and recommend it for ages 14 to 18 plus adults. Dune opens in theaters October 22nd so make sure to check it out and please watch in IMAX if possible because it just delivers a completely different experience. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this review, make sure to give it a thumbs up and check out some of our other Kids First reviewers and reporters on this channel. See you in the next one.